I guess so. This is the OC21 uh, short transport ship by Il Poti, and you can see it kind of looks like a Star Trek ship. All right, so the ship only has 3920 PCU, so this can pretty much be built on any survival server. To the front here, we have the uh, cockpit, and to the side here, there is a uh, hydrogen tanks they are exposed but they are arranged in such a way that makes the whole ship really looks nice while being functional you can see how they use this uh industrial hydrogen tank with the normal hydrogen tanks and there's oh there is some spotlights here i can see why they use it for aesthetic but those are kind of expensive but it's fine up here there is a single assault cannon turret since this is a transport ship i'm not gonna criticize the combat capability too much and down here we have eight uh, upward thrusters two landing gears and i like this connector this connection this connector actually sticks out this is a lot more functional than most connectors out there and oh is that the entrance? Huh, hold on. Uh, there's nothing more here. And these are uh, large cargo containers, I think. Alright, these are large cargo containers. Let's get to the... Wait, <laughs> one more thing. So there's a window here. That's pretty interesting. Alright, let's get to the interior now. So there's a ladder here. Hmm, wait. Oh, never mind. I thought this ship would be able to land on planets and have this reachable. I mean, this is kind of reachable on foot. Like, you can stand here and you can still reach the ladder. But it kind of breaks the immersion a bit, but it's fine. At least this is actually walkable. So that window out there kind of uh, show this. Is this an airlock? Uh, yeah, uh, the window goes to this airlock, and here's the cockpit that we saw earlier. The door is open because I still have the mod installed. The uh, cockpit tree animated mod. Alright, it shouldn't be open like that. So this is the airlock, and it doubles as the entryway to the cockpit. So that's pretty neat use of space. Huh. Oh wow, this is amazing. They create this illusion of this like textured hallway by using corrugated metal texture that's pretty smart actually i like that all right mm, passage blocks this is oh i actually like how they do this like you see all this uh very oh this texture is really nice but yeah uh this very low piece of decoration with the shelf and passageways with textures and diagonal window the person who made the ship really knows how to use slow PCU stuff to make good textures I mean to make good decorations hmm uh, I think this is some kind of a crew quarter I'm not sure there is no bed here also you see how there is this locker as a wall as well oh I think they can actually delete this uh, light armor panel and it will look kind of nice. Alright. Hmm, so this is some kind of engineering. And here's the air fan. So this uh, diagonal window here, it doubles, it triples even. So this window divides the rooms and it acts as a decoration and at the same time they it also allows air to go out from this room to the rest of the ship so the ship doesn't have to use multiple air fans i mean air fans so that's pretty smart there's the graffiti generator hydrogen engine conveyor that's fine i guess uh because you know they could have used cargo containers but i guess conveyor looks nicer in this use case all right so i'm guessing this is the bedroom huh they use blast doors 
that's quite interesting. That kind of uh give gives this room uh you know the beds look like they are floating so that's nice. They have a uh, nice texture works there as well. Then we have this more of this corrugated metal texture and another locker. Alright, so that's the whole interior I think. Hmm. <coughs> I'm pretty impressed actually with the interior works. They really know how to make things look nice without using too much PC. Huh. This is also blessed door. Interesting. Alright, let's get to the bridge now. Let's check the internals now. So the ship has three batteries, which normally would be a problem, but the ship is not a combat ship and it uses hydrogen, so it's fine. It has six hydrogen tanks, that's great for the size. Two hydrogen engines. Mm, does it have production? No refinery. And no assembler. But the ship does have a survival kit, so it can kinda do production, but not too much. I would prefer seeing at least a basic refinery and assembler, because you can make a lot more just by investing a little bit more on the ship. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. So with only two H2 generators, those hydrogen tanks are gonna take like 12 hours to refuel, so the ship would be dependent on a refueling ship or a station. So there's that. Hmm. There's an antenna. Alright, I think that's everything pretty much. Let's fly the ship now. Mm, the forward speed is actually it's actually really great. Like you can accelerate really fast forward. The ship weighs only 430 tons by the way. So it's pretty lightweight. Hmm and the turning speed is also great actually so having your main thrust forward is not ideal for combat but since i mean unless you're a charger ship or something but since this is not a combat ship that's fine and you know it's a cargo ship so you would presumably run away or fly away when you find an enemy ship all right so with eight upward hydrogen tanks, I mean hydrogen thrusters, the ship should be able to fly on planets. Oh, I also just realized, because they use this uh, cockpit out here, this is a dual access cockpit as well. So that's great. So yeah, uh, the ship can fly on planets, just as expected. It can even fly on per term. It should be able to fly on per term. So yeah, uh, the ship is actually really really good in terms of the decoration and you know the general aesthetic of the ship is you know it kind of it's really spot on it's not like overdone but it still looks nice with very low PCU as well and functionally speaking the ship is pretty acceptable it's pretty decent but you know maybe they should add uh, some small productions to make this ship more versatile and maybe the ship can use more H2 generators so that you know if you're stranded somewhere it's not gonna take forever to refuel oh let's see if the ship has reactor by the way so the ship doesn't have reactors it only ha uh, it only uses the hydrogen engines as generators which is fine especially for this kind of ship all right let's crash the ship now I'm gonna crash it on that cliff side over there. Huh. I'm gonna crash uh, head on. Here it goes. Ah! Uh, oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, that was a pretty short one. Oh, those are the beds. Let's follow the ship flying down. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, I, I wasn't uploading videos yesterday because I got some issues with my computer, but. It has since been fixed. So yeah, that's the OC-21 uh, small transport ship or short transport ship by, I forget the creator's name again, by Il Poti. You can find the link in the description below. It's raining 